this video does not supersede any standard operating procedures that may be in place at your company. Consult with an expert when troubleshooting and to otherwise ensure that you are using the products and safeguards that are appropriate for you and the application at hand. If you would like more information after this video, please contact your Cooper Controls representative or visit www.coopercontrol.com. In this video, you will learn how to connect wall stations, motion sensors, and daylight sensors to your room controller. The room controller connects to these accessories using quick connect cables and click and go connectors, minimizing installation time. To connect wall stations to your room controller, attach a quick connect cable between the room controller's wall station port and one of the ports on the back of the entry wall station. Connect up to three additional wall stations to the entry station using quick connect cables to link from station to station. RC3D and RC3DE models support the connection of one slider station. If a slider station is connected and other wall stations contain raise and lower buttons, the room controller will automatically disable the other raise lower controls. The slider station connects to a dedicated port and should not be connected to other wall stations in the space. Attach a quick connect cable between the room controller's slider station port and the port on the back of the slider station. Occupancy sensors may be used with the room controller for occupancy or vacancy based control strategies. During vacancy mode, lighting will not turn on upon occupancy detection and will require that the occupant manually trigger the lighting from a wall switch. If occupancy mode is selected, the Load 1 relay will turn on automatically upon occupancy detection. Other lighting loads will turn on from manually operated wall switches. All lighting will turn off automatically when the space is vacated. Mount the sensor as instructed for the type of sensor being used. Once the sensor is mounted, attach an occupancy sensor coupler to the sensor leads. The coupler makes installation easy. Simply press the lever down to open the terminal. Insert the correct wire color, matching colors to position shown on the label. Then release the lever to secure the connection. Once the blue, red, and black wires are secure, if the sensor also has a brown wire, attach this at the provided location. Attach a quick connect cable between one of the room controller's sensor ports and one of the ports on the occupancy sensor coupler. If you have a larger room that requires two occupancy sensors, use a quick connect cable to attach the second sensor coupler to the first sensor coupler or to the second sensor port on the room controller. Once the occupancy sensor is connected, select the desired operating mode using the energy option switch number three. The default mode is vacancy mode. For vacancy mode, leave energy option switch number three in the off position. To select occupancy mode, move energy option switch three to the on position. One daylight sensor may be used with the room controller for single or multi-zone dimming strategies. The daylight sensor can be mounted using the provided post and locking washer or the mounting bracket accessory. Place the sensor approximately one to two times the height of the window into the space, avoiding a location where the sensor will be affected by direct electric light contribution. Rotate the sensor head until the sensor's lens and orientation arrow are pointed towards the window. For narrow locations, the sensor can be located closer to the window. Rotate the sensor's head until the sensor's lens and orientation arrow are pointed away from the window into the space. Once the mounting area is prepared, attach the provided daylight sensor coupler to the sensor. Attach a quick connect cable between the daylight sensor coupler and one of the room controller's sensor ports 
or to an occupancy sensor coupler, whichever is easiest. After completing the steps in this video, your room controller should be connected to the basic controls in your space. Make sure to watch the next video in our series to learn how to bring your room controller online and verify control operation.